Hello, I want to interrupt you for one minute before we get to Mac Minute. I have some special news that I want to make sure that we let everybody know. We are combining all of our YouTube channels into a single channel. And because of that, if you've been watching Mac Minute on the old, or I'm going to call it the old Mac Minute YouTube channel, the videos are going to stop showing up in about six weeks. So to keep getting Mac Minute, you need to go subscribe to the new channel. And it is very easy to remember. It is youtube.com slash techzentv, all one word. And from that channel, you can subscribe to the playlist for Mac Minute and you won't miss a single one. So when you're done watching Mac Minute, I'll remind you again before we go. But when you're done watching Mac Minute, go over to youtube.com slash techzentv and subscribe so that you keep getting Mac Minute on YouTube. Thank you. Now on to Mac Minute. Hello, welcome to another episode of Mac Minute. This week we're going to cover something that's probably for the more advanced users, but we've gotten this question, so we want to make sure that we cover it. So most people probably under maybe don't know that the Macintosh actually runs, or the OS X runs on top of Linux. It is a Linux kernel. So you want to know what's that really mean? Well, in the world, there's probably basically two types of operating systems. You have Windows, and you have some form of Unix, whether it be Linux or uh, BSD or whatever. It's some you know some form of another operating system. Now, so, some, there's an argument going back and forth. Which one's the better one? I don't want to get into another argument. I use both. I like both. Um, I just prefer to use a Mac more. That's all. Not that there's anything, nothing, nothing wrong with Windows. But because it's Unix, I think it's a little bit more stable. But also because it's Unix, you can get to a command line and do Unix stuff in the command line. So if you're not an advanced user, this may be one of them. I want to turn off this week's episode because this is one of those things that's advanced and can break things if you're not careful. Now, I use the command line all the time. I'm a Unix junkie and I hang out in Unix. So uh, that's just something for me. But we've had other people ask that question, what's the easiest way to get to a command line? And uh, I'm also going to show you why it's, people get confused about it because uh, there's something built into the Mac. It's very easy to do, but there's also something else that's named something similar and it's not what you think it is. So the easiest way to do this is a utility in the utility. So we're going to go in to the Mac uh, applications. So we're going to go to applications. And if you scroll down to utilities, way down here at the bottom, and you don't click on utilities, you can scroll down. And the first thing you come to is console. And it looks like that would be what you want. It looks like console is probably the right thing, but it's, that's not right. Console gets you into something similar, but is more of a, um, a report tool and they'll see what's going on with the system internally. If you keep scrolling down, you see terminal. If you double click on terminal, you now bring up your Unix prompt. So if you're familiar with Unix, LS minus AL shows you the files that are in there. And you can change directories, see where you're located as your public, your Chrome currently in the Mac Minute user. Um, if I want to go into documents, there's a documents, there's probably no documents in here, ls, uh, one documents in here, untitled.rdf, for whatever that is. So that's how easy you can get to a command line. So um, it, it, you can do some things in here. Now, the, you will notice if you're a Unix person that you're at a dollar sign. You're not at a root. The, uh, there is no set password for root on a Mac. However, you can set it. If you're familiar with sudo, you can do just about anything root can do using sudo, including change the root password. I just do not recommend it. I do everything without knowing the root password on my Mac that, and I can pretty much do anything that I want with it using the command line. So that's, that's what we're gonna show you that this week, something very simple. So that's it for Mac Minute this week. We'll see you next week. All right, before you go, I wanna remind you, you need to go to youtube.com slash techzentv and subscribe so that we can see you next week on Mac Minute. It's only a few more weeks left until Mac Minute is no longer on the old channel and only on the new TechZenTV channel. And is again, youtube.com slash TechZenTV. You can go there now because we're done. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts, and more, go to the TechZen.TV website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. 
Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.